my name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let us know where you're coming in from. Okay. Uh, my name is Richmond Ahibe. Um, I'm calling from Nigeria. All right. And yeah, so I'm calling from Nigeria. Awesome. So let's dive into it. Thinking Go Rich. When did you start with the book? How did you start with the book? Um, Think and Grow Rich is a master class. It's a classic that I was introduced to a few years back. And it has changed my life dramatically. Like my life has not remained the same again because of that book. You know, and I think that book should be the next Bible. <laughs> All right, I, the book I is really fantastic. Too. A lot of people, yeah. a lot of people have made their success because of that book. Share with us quickly two principles that you think we should know from the book that you have been utilizing. Okay, two principles that I think that that we should know from that book. Now, uh, the first one is the 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 machine of sex of sex urge. All right. Now, you know, the, the, the strongest and deepest emotions of any man is the emotions of sex. All right. When it comes to sex, um, you know, it's, it's an emotion that radiates from the within. It's, it, it, it has so much urge. It, it pushes you, it pumps you to the point that you don't even use your own senses. You don't even use your own mind you're not thinking straight because you're acting based on the emotions that you feel and because you know uh, uh, sexual emotions are the deepest emotions of humanity you know it, it sometimes blocks our pipe of reasoning and here is napoleon hill telling us that if you can surrogate if you can convert those sexual emotions and put it into other aspects of your life they are going to be successful now, this is no joke. This is no joke. Look, if there's anything I've come to understand about success is that when you put in your emotions to your success, when you put in emotions to your goal, it doesn't matter how long you are desperate, you are passionate about it, and you will certainly achieve it. So sex emotions is an emotion that we can convert into our personal life, into our personal goals, and achieve tremendous, tremendous results. Okay, now I will just chip this in, okay? My mom, she's very, she's a devotee, right? She's very devoted in her religion. Okay, I don't want to go too, too, uh, too, too spooky here. She's very devoted in her religion, all right? Now that women, they are more devoted in their religion than men. I mean, no offense, because you know what? Women attach emotions they attach emotions to their worship. Do you understand? So emotion is one of the deepest and strongest power that humanity could ever have. But when you translate those emotions and put them into your business, and put them into your life, into your career, trust me, it's a go-go. Like, it's a go-go. And that has helped me. Because being a young guy... I mean, with all the uh, with all the physical morphology that derive what a man truly is, if you know what I'm talking about, amen. So I know what it takes for you to have sexual emotions, deep, strong sexual emotions, and how I've been able to convert those emotions over the years, over the years, and I've converted them into my own personal life. So it is easy for me now. To focus on my career and focus my on my on my goal because I have been able to I have been able to discipline myself to the point that emotions like that I have converted into my life. Come on, life is more than having sex. You serious? Got it, got it. So, so what is the second yeah. principle that we should know that you think is important? Okay, the second principle that we should know that is very 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 important is the mastery of the mastermind. Mystery of the mastermind. The mastery of the mind. Now, if there's anything that I've come to understand is that everything rises and falls in the mind. The mind is the central. The mind is the pivotal point of our life. 
Trust me. Now, before you say something, before you do something, whether we believe it or not, according to Napoleon Hill, it has already crossed through our mind. Now, one funny thing about the mind is that it accumulates everything, negatives, positives. So, so it does not seg segregate. And that's the reason why you now have auto suggestions, which was also mentioned in the book, which helps you to decipher what kind of thoughts you want to allow to flow through your mind. Okay, so, but the power of mastering your mind, according to Rafa Dutrine, he said, every man is a king in his own mental domain. All right, so when you're able to master your mind, you can master your life. When you're able to master your mind, you can master your emotions. When you're able to master your mind, you can master your careers. When you're able to master your mind, you can master your friends. See, everything about life resides, circulates in the mind. As I do tell people, I said the mind is the center of business. The mind is the center of business. The mind is the center of attraction. It attracts to you negatives. It attracts to you positive. It attracts to you everything you throw out there to attract to you. So you are a working magnet. So whatever you attract to yourself comes to you. But you must be able to master your mind to know, to put an alarm there. When it's a negative thought, it gives you an alert and then you sweep it out. You must be able to filter the kind of thought that comes through your mind. Because as a man ticket in his heart, so is he. That was the core of Vincent Nomapel's book, The Power of Positive Thinking. That's the core of Vincent Nomapel's book, The Power of Positive Thinking. Okay? Now, what we need to understand is that there is power in positive thinking. There's also power in negative thinking. I agree with that. <laughs> Being part of a mastermind so group and, and mastering your mind definitely makes a big deal, especially if you're in business. Surrounding yourself with positive people is very, very important. My last question for you, if somebody has not read the book, why should they go pick up the book and read the book? All right. This is very simple. Um, this book changed my life. You know, I, 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 I was... Then I was asking, uh, how can I buy this? Is, this? is this product good? And then the woman selling the product says, I use this product. It was good for me. And that's the reason why I'm doing the business of this product. Okay, I cannot refer to you or recommend to you something that is not good for me. I can only tell you something that is good for me. And I'm telling you, if you haven't read this book, what are you waiting for? What the freak are you waiting for? Go get this book. Go get this. I want this book. I wish I knew this book a long time when I was in my teenage age or when I was, you know, much, much younger. I wish I knew this book because this book has revolutionized the way I think. It has changed my life for the better. So I would speak to anybody right now who is watching this video, wherever you are in the continent, the book can speak one language and that's success. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for being with us. Hopefully we can get to do more. Keep up the good work. I love your energy. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right.